to share this article with you guys. A Harvard-trained psychologist says, if you use any of these nine phrases every day, you're more emotionally secure than most. Let's check out these phrases. Oh, this is a good one. Self-assured people can navigate conflict and be vulnerable with others, mostly because they aren't looking for external validation. Now, let's look at the phrases. Number one, let me think about that before I respond. One of the most noticeable characteristics of emotionally secure people is that they articulate themselves well, they choose their responses carefully, and they aren't impulsive in their reaction. Similar phrases, I'm really frustrated and need some time to myself. I don't want to say something I might regret later. I don't have an answer right now. Can we revisit this conversation? No. I have spoken about this. Having boundaries, this is important. Um, just no is a as a full sentence. Um, another phrase, I'm sorry I can't help with that because I have too many other commitments. Somebody might also say, I'm just, that's just not something I enjoy doing. So that could also be a way to say no. Number three, I'm not comfortable with that. They always communicate their needs in a respectful way. This means they state how they feel when someone treats them poorly. Um, when they feel, um, if they feel their boundaries are being violated, they'll take action to make changes. Similar phrases, when you say things like that, I feel hurt and angry. If you treat me like this, I'm going to step away because it's not healthy for me. This is who I am and I am proud of it. They are consistent in how they operate in the world. This makes being around them predictable and safe because friends and loved ones know that they are who they say they are. Similar phrases, what you see is what you get. Um, and you may not like this about me, but I'm okay with that. So, that I, I love that one. Number five, am I like that? Emotionally secure people are emotionally secure people are able to consider criticism without lashing out. If they receive negative feedback, they don't take it personally. Instead, they see it as an opportunity for self-improvement. Similar phrases, I didn't realize I do that so often. Thank you for pointing it out. Wow, I guess I really do say that phrase a lot. Number six, I will work on that. In meaningful relationships, emotionally secure people will make an effort to change when necessary. They know that taking action is key to personal growth and strengthening connections. Similar phrases, I hear that this is important to you, so I'll work on being more compassionate when I talk to you. And I'm not very good at being patient. I'm going to practice being less pushy. Number seven, I'm sorry you're struggling. How can I help? Their empathetic and non-judgmental nature in relationships makes them a great at, makes them great at being supportive. They also understand that if someone is having a bad day, it isn't a reflection on them. Um, number eight, this matters to me. There will have to be a part two so I can get through eight and nine. This is part two of the phrases that show that you are emotionally secure. Number eight, this matters to me. Having a solid belief system is key to being emotionally secure because it guides our choices. When a value is violated, emotionally secure people are able to take a stance for what they believe is moral and fair. Um, similar phrases, I really care about this even if you don't. I don't think you're acting in an ethical way. I can't watch it happen without standing for what I believe is humane. I do want to pause here because this, this one resonates with me. Um, like, I stand for integrity and I have my own value system that I speak about and that I guide myself and my actions with. And a lot of the times, since I am an agnostic woman, people act like you can't have a value system because you're not religious. And integrity, being about your word and being woman focused and being about my health and health of others is part of my value system. You can absolutely have a value system without having a religious um, faith or, you know, follow any kind of guidelines like that. I just wanted to interject that. Number nine, I will try. Emotionally secure people have cultivated a sense of inner safety that, tell them, that tells them they will be okay even if a new effort fails. This allows them to experiment with new things such as hobbies, friendship, travels, and even personal coping strategies. Similar phrases, I'll try that next time, or I may not be good at this, but I'm willing to give it a shot. I absolutely love this. Um, being a doer, someone that just goes and tries, isn't afraid of failing. 
And even if you do fail or find that you have weaknesses in something, you're able to regroup and just take that information and try something a little bit better. So I absolutely love number nine as well. So I have done all eight phrases. Did any of these resonate with you? Do you see where you can make some adjustments in your life? Um, I do. I saw one that I could definitely work on and it's not reacting so quickly, taking a step back, evaluating my stands and try to refocus some of my words. So you guys go ahead, jump in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Like, comment, share.